we have to go out seven days since we've stayed here 21 days. When we left him, yeah. it was like 5 a.m. And I can save on pie. The one we got is $10 a day. We were that close the whole time. <laughs> Temple of Sinanawa. I think I said that right. And where does it end up? Like it's going downstream. Cayenta Trail right here is one of the favorites here. You just go farther and it's just even more beautiful. You just have to come here. <laughs> you, you have to. It's a must. It seems like there's a lot of good eating places mm -hmm. when you do reviews, but one that really stood out is called Unless She Finds Pie. <laughs> Since this is the only thousand trails in this area, we have to go out seven days since we've stayed here 21 days. Anything seven days and over, you have to be out seven days to come back to the same park. You can go to another thousand trails, but the problem is there's no other thousand right. trails. This is it. In, in this Vegas. area. So we're just gonna go down the road here one mile <laughs> and then we'll come right back here in a week. Sometimes places have checkouts that they'll say 12 o'clock. Don't think that you have to wait till that time. Um, and don't go ahead of time. Just simply call them and ask them if they have a site available for you if you want to check in early. When you're lot, going to a different park. Yeah, right? right, when you're going to a different park. Because a lot of times they have availability and they'll let you in before that check-in time, but you need to call first right. and make sure that it's okay. And they typically, 99% of the time, have no problem with it. Say, sure, come on over, or they'll tell you it's not ready yet. Orlando. No exceptions. You cannot get in before noon. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's a very busy place, yeah. especially during peak time. Yeah. All right, let's get busy and get going. It's a pretty nice park. It's really pretty. Cool area. Speed bump. I like how the sights are nicely marked out towards the road too. So you know where you're supposed to be with your car as well. Well, we're all set up. Pretty nice place here. It is, very nice. All spoiled with all the concrete and no dust. All right? Yes. <laughs> you need to find that three dollar car wash. That help? <laughs> it's still dark. I think the last time that we ever went anywhere. When we left and uh, it was like 5 a.m. When we went on our maiden voyage. I know. To get Vinny. It is 6.03 a.m. Well, it's 6.22 a.m. right now. Daylight savings time, gotta love it. We are heading back up to Zion National Park to explore more of Zion. Yeah. You have to get Excited. your tickets for the shuttle way ahead of time and they released the last tickets like 9 a.m. That's mountain time, I believe. Mm -hmm. The day the before. The day before. At saveonpie.com. Pie insurance is a no brainer with our simple online experience and pie outstanding insurance. service. We are rated excellent on Save Trustpilot on by our customers who tell I'm us pie is fast, affordable, and easy to work with. As easy as pie, in fact. Savings matter now more than ever. Saveonpie.com. That's saveonpie.com. This is the moment we've all been waiting Wow, honey. You can <laughs> now get insurance for your pie. And I can save on pie. They've listened to me.
we made it to Zion here and we get up to the gate and it said that the visitor center, all the parking in Zion is all full. So you have to come back in town here in Springdale, park at one of their parking lots. Some of them are $25 for the day. The one we got is $10 a day. It's right here, uh, right before the entrance. Even though your tickets for the shuttle cost a dollar for the day, in Zion, you still, if, if the parking is full in Zion, you gotta come back here in Springdale, just down the road here. We're less than a mile from the gate where we are right now. And uh, park in this lot, and then there'll be some shuttle pickup areas along the sidewalk here that you have to get on a free shuttle that'll take you to the visitor center <laughs> to that shuttle, which takes you into Zion. <laughs> and we better go. So, we gotta get going. Put your space number in the machine, pay. It doesn't give you a ticket, it just reserves your space number. It's a little bit confusing and the guy at the gate really didn't give us very good yeah. information. He told us to come back here and park and take the shuttle in. The city Michelle, shuttle. Yeah, to the visitor center. Well, Michelle just asked somebody back here. They told her that it's not a very far walk at all, about a two minute, which... I think it's longer than two minutes. I think it's longer than two minutes. <laughs> and. Uh, so you can actually walk to the visitor center. You'll see straight ahead here. Up here is where you enter the national park. We parked across the street right over there. There's the pedestrian bridge. I see it way over there. And here we are. It was really quick. So apparently this is the parking lot they said was full. So we were that close the whole time. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then the visitor center, it's right over here, where I believe is where we'll get on our scheduled shuttle. They told us that you go over to where the rangers are at a desk, and that's where you show them your tickets for your shuttle. Now we have to figure out where we want to stop first. There's multiple stops. I think. Well, we don't want anything too long or hard. <laughs> Beautiful views. Some of them have restaurant facilities. One stop at the Zion Lodge it has food. Um, so it's the whole area is kind of like a community within itself. The Temple of Sinaloa is the next stop. The Riverside Walk Trail leads directly into the house. And that's where we're going to start. We're going to start up at the top and just kind of work our way down and see what we have time for. Temple of Sinanawa. I think I said that right. <laughs> oh yeah, mass time. 
felt like anywhere we go, places are always different than what you expect. Mm -hmm. You have a place to stop, get off the shuttle at the lodge, and you can have food. And a lot of them have restrooms. The shuttle itself is a beautiful. Oh yeah. A beautiful ride. Yeah. So. Very enjoyable. It was. We better get on our hike. No flash flooding today? Not expected. <laughs> That's good. kind of nice that they made some of these trails like this wheelchair accessible. Yeah. Yes. We got a bit chilly. Got off the trail here a little bit just to stand in the sun and come down by the river. The river is supposedly contaminated right now, so you don't want to kind of algae. You don't want to touch the water. Give me your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. Uh, we are, as far as we can go, basically the river walk, in order to get to the narrows, you have to walk through, through the, the water, it appears. <laughs> so we're not and uh, the water is tainted. It's uh, There's a warning out for that. So, yeah. But way down there, you can see everybody walking through the water. She was taking a sample of that cyanobacteria and uh, they're still doing studies on it to see if it's harmful for people to ingest. It's kind of scary yeah. not knowing if it's harmful to even be here. <laughs> and where does it end up if it's going downstream? It surprised a lot of those people were walking with their shoes and sure it's right through the water splashing it everywhere she said that that's one of the studies they're going to do to see if it got splashed on you if it's harmful they don't even know yet yeah. and they're letting people go through This was stop number six, the grotto. There's a trail this way that goes down to the pools. Emerald pools. Emerald pools. I say it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. We asked, and this Cayenta Trail right here is one of the favorites here. 
and it goes down to the Emerald Pools, which is a massif. And every time you just go farther and it's just even more beautiful. Sometimes you look down and you're like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You've got a few drop-offs. There's your waterfall, honey. Mm, I hope not. It's probably one of the coolest hikes we've been on. Oh, yeah. From this point you can either go down to the lower pools and go right down to them or you got a viewpoint this way. And then there was a sign like before we turned to the left, there was a sign up there that said the upper and middle pools to keep going. So that's where we see the people up higher. Well, we're back down at the visitor center, and um, this place is huge. It is. The hikes that you go on are long, well, anywhere lot from of, like a, what, an hour to eight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up to eight hours. Literally, one is eight hours. You almost need a week just to take your time and spend a lot of time here. Mm -hmm. We're not sure if we're going to come back here right. anytime soon or not, so we tried to hand pick the couple of the best. Um, it's kind of difficult right now because to get back to the Narrows, which is the eight-hour hike, I believe. Yes, in the in the river. But they're saying the do not go in the water, <laughs> but people are anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we came back to the visitor center. We're going to get our car. Since it's going to get dark soon, we're going to go through the Zion Tunnel. We're going to go take a drive through that and uh, mm -hmm. 
because we're hungry. We worked up. What's that have to do with the trail and the map? I don't know. I was just showing. Okay. All right. I think I'm delirious. I need pie. Visitor center area. They got a market here. Got a brewery. Got a rental place back here. Uh, bikes. And you can actually rent your gear for the Narrows, for hiking up in the Narrows. There's a lot to do down here in this area. Hoodies. Uh-oh. Oh, she found a hoodie. driving through the tunnel and you can look out. This place is incredible. It is. People have told us over and over again, you've got to go to Zion. You've got to go to Zion. And now we know why. Yep. It is so beautiful. And there's so much more to see too. We've yeah. only seen a drop in a bucket of it, but we are two hours and 40 minutes from the visitor center here where we are mm -hmm. staying in Las Vegas. Yeah. So if you're going to stay at the Thousand Trails in Las Vegas and you're going to go up here to the Zion, uh, take the shuttle, which is two hours and 40 minutes and I think the Colab Canyons was just about two hours. Yeah. So you got to allow yourself time for that. Going through that tunnel uh -huh. with those little windows open as you're driving through, it'd be dark and then all of a sudden the burst of light yeah. that you can look out and see the beautiful views. It was, was like neat. an amusement ride in your own car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but there's so many awe-striking oh, yeah. sights. Like, it's gosh. amazing. We can't even show it all. You just have to come here. <laughs> you have to. It's a must. It is definitely a bucket list. It is. I think the look on my face sometimes was like a, a man popping one of those little blue pills for the first time. Alrighty then. That's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> Right here in Springdale, in Utah, right by the entrance to the National Park. It seems like there's a lot of good eating places mm -hmm. when you do reviews, but one that really stood out is called Oscar's Cafe. Very high reviews, about 1,800 reviews, and it was a 4.5 out of 5, so we're going to go check it out, and we'll let you know how it is real soon. Looks delicious. That food was actually very good. It actually. Was very good. <laughs> and a lot. The portions yeah. were big. Mm-hmm. I'd say a four what, or four point five. Yeah. The, what, the reviews there lived up. What did you have? So I had people a, know. Oh, I had a burger. I'm a burger guy. And it was a pretty good burger. And they had a gluten-free bun, a half pound burgers. Um, you had sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries, thank you. And they were, they were good. Because I shared. Or he shared. Yeah. Um, and I had their pulled pork barbecue, pulled pork sandwich. Came on a big, long Italian hoagie. hoagie. 
and uh, regular fries. And it's very good. good. Yeah. And uh, walking by, some of their other food looked really good, too. Yeah. They had tacos. And She's wanting to go to these shops. Yeah. We're going to stop at St. George and get some ice cream, right? Maybe. We'll see. But it... It's a very good place. Otherwise. Unless she finds pie. <laughs> Otherwise. Otherwise. Otherwise, we're going to call it a day. Yeah. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye, guys. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.